fact or fiction. They say the grass is always greener in the other person's yard. But today, we have lots of ways to improve the situation. Special fertilizers, seeds, even vitamins for today's lawn. And of course, a variety of different sods to choose from. Suzanne Elliott is about to become preoccupied with a certain plot of dead grass. Before this story is through, who knows what else might die. As we say our final goodbye to Gordon Luther Elliott, loving husband, devoted father, and successful businessman, we Gordon Luther Elliott died of congestive heart failure after spending the last six months of his life in a federal prison. He was imprisoned for embezzling a large sum of money from a company he owned with his partner. Enjoying greener pastures and life everlasting. Gordon loved his wife Suzanne and his son James and he cherished the many happy hours that he spent in his garden. Gordon Elliott loved making things grow. Yes, he did. And although he couldn't resist the temptation of greed, he must be forgiven his sins and be allowed to rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, Gordon. We forgive you. Oh, shut up, Suzanne. He doesn't want your forgiveness. That's no way to speak to your stepmother, James. My father was an innocent man, Reinhardt. You know it. He went to prison for a crime he didn't commit. He helped you build a business and you shafted him. It should be you in that grave. Not my father. Come on, Suzanne. Service is over. You know, I was with him when he died. And he swore that no grass would grow in this grave until the truth comes out. Eric, I think he knows. You know what? He doesn't have any proof. Forget his inheritance. Forget the whole thing. <sighs> what was that whole thing about the grass not growing on Gordon's grave until the truth comes out? What did that mean? Just calm down, Suzanne. Old Gordo took his gardening too seriously. He's dead. There's nothing he can do. Everything grows here. Don't worry about it. Hmm? Three weeks after the funeral, Suzanne Elliott quietly moved in with her dead husband's ex-partner, Eric Reinhardt. Who was that on the phone? Don't get mad, but I called the caretaker from the cemetery again. What? Why do you keep doing that? Eric, there still isn't any grass growing on his grave. Well, that's because the caretaker's an idiot. I told you, he doesn't know what he's doing. Well, he said that there's grass growing on all of the other graves around Gordon's, just, just not on his. So? There's something wrong with the dirt. <sighs> Who cares? No, Eric, don't you see? It's Gordon. He is doing this. All right, Suzanne. Would it make you feel better if I hired a private gardener to take care of our little grass problem? Yeah. Cheers. I don't get it. It's been a whole month. Soil tested fine. There should be grass by now. I tried everything, Mrs. Elliott. A chemical, organic fertilizer, Bermuda, rye, buffalo grass. I even laid sod and that died. I knew nothing would grow. Don't give up yet. I got one more idea. We dig up the deceased and we rebury him in a more nutrient-rich plot. Ma'am? Ma'am? Go ahead, dig him up. It's not going to work. I feel like I'm having a nervous breakdown, Eric, and you don't even care. I care, Suzanne, but you're bringing this on yourself. You're making a big thing about some lousy grass. It's Gordon's grass. He 
he's doing this to me. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I look like a hag. Look, the rebury him and the grass will grow. No. You don't know, Gordon. He won't let us rest until we confess. What? Now you listen to me. You don't even think about confessing. I am not giving all this up. I have worked too hard and too long to get it. Okay, all right. Then we have to go to Gordon's grave and beg his forgiveness. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. I'm not going to Gordon's grave. Then I will tell everything. I don't care anymore. I can't do this. <laughs> ah, huh? Look at that. They've already dug his new grave. Crazy? Just tell him you're sorry and let's go home. It's freezing out here. Eric, get on your knees. Gordon. Gordon, I know you can hear me. I am so sorry that you died in prison. We never wanted that to happen, did we, Eric? No, we didn't. Eric and I never planned on falling in love. It just happened, Gordon. And we did frame you. And we are so sorry. Okay, Suzanne, that's enough. <laughs> okay, Gordon, will you please, please forgive us? caretaker found the dead bodies of Suzanne Elliott and Eric Reinhardt the following day. He also noticed that for the first time, grass was growing on Gordon Luther Elliott's grave. Why wouldn't the grass grow on Gordon's grave? Was it controlling things from beyond, or was it merely a fluke of nature that kept his cemetery plot bare? If so, how do you explain that once his death was avenged, the grass grew tall and thick? Was Gordon's son behind the entire scenario? But then, why weren't the experts hired by Suzanne and Reinhardt able to make the grass grow? In judging this story, have we planted the sweet smell of truth? Or was that a whiff of fertilizer in the air? <laughs>